Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Last time I said we'd do another kaiju, and here we are! With the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong, Monster vs. Kong, with Battle Axe. I've been waiting for this figure since it leaked. I'm getting it a little bit later than other people, just because there's not a Walmart near me, straight up. There just isn't. Um... I actually wanted to get the skull crawler first since it's one per case, but I got Kong instead and passed on the Atomic Breath Godzilla. They didn't have the other Godzilla. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the Godzillas because I just have so many 2014 and 2019 Godzillas that I don't feel like I need them. Uh, but Kong and the skull crawler must haves because this is our first six inch of Kong looking like this, and it's our first big skull crawler that's articulated as well. So. Uh, here he is in packaging. I really like the color scheme that Godzilla vs. Kong is going with. The blue and orange. Because blue and orange like really clash, but that's kind of the point. And also I think orange is an underused color in general. Uh, but there's Kong in the package. Now you rotate, you got some monster vs. Kong. Got Kong here on the back. He's got a couple read-ups. Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the Titans, known as the Hollow Earth, is revealed. I heard they actually might fight um, in the Hollow Earth, which is pretty cool. So Kong with Battle Axe. Feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against Godzilla with bone-crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for a king. Battle damage reveal. Collect them all. You see you got the Godzilla with Heat Ray, which I'm probably going to skip on. I got the you know, Kong with Fighter Jet. I'll probably skip on also just because it's basically the same figure with a different face and different uh, <laughs> accessory. Skullcrawler with Heave is a must-have. Warbat, I guess they're calling it Warbat now, with Osprey as a must-have, since it's really the only figure of that creature. And then a Godzilla with a radio tower, I'll probably pass on as well. Yeah, I did see reviews for both of these, and they looked like cool figures, but they're not super duper something that I need. So you know, let's put this guy out of packaging. And here we have our Kong with Battle Axe out of packaging! Yeah, pretty cool. I actually want to talk about the accessories first. So, I guess we'll talk about his gimmick first, actually, since accessory is part of it. Uh, all these figures have, like, a gore gimmick. People are calling it a battle damage gimmick, but that's... I mean, that's technically correct, but it's also a gore gimmick. Um, so you show lots of Kong's muscle after he's torn open. And then you have a piece like this. Right? And it goes... Over the torn muscles. So you get it in like that. I'll probably never take mine off, to be completely honest with you. Doesn't super stick out. It could use a bit more of a wash on it to help it fit in a little better, but still pretty good, you know? Fits in pretty well. It, it hides the articulation joint, but that one doesn't hide. He also has the battle axe, the reason everyone got this figure. Um, very, very cool. This looks like a bone from a kaiju, perhaps, even though it's not painted like a bone. You can easily fix that if it is indeed a bone. And then it's wrapped up. Uh, and this looks like one of Godzilla's spines, right? It looks like one of his scoots. Like he's made an axe out of one of Godzilla's scoots that he ripped out. So that's pretty cool. Yes, I, I figure it, it could be one of the ones that Muto Prime knocked out, because Muto Prime knocked all his scoots out, and that's why they regrew a different shape for the 2019 movie. That's why they look different, because he actually grew new spines. But it's more jagged, like his 2019 spine, so it looks like it might be one he rips out in the movie and then makes a weapon out of for a fight later on. Let's fit it into his hand. Well, that fits just dandy. That fits just dandy. Look at that. Kong with Battle Axe! God, I cannot wait for this movie to come out. It's going to be so cool. Uh, whether it's good or not, it's going to be cool. <laughs> but the others have all been good, so, you know. Nice. Uh, yeah, now let's talk about yep, articulation. He actually has a pretty good bit. Side to side on the head. No up and down, but I'm kind of used to it with kaiju figures. 
up and down on the arms, forward and back, elbow bend. You also have an elbow swivel, uh, wrist swivel. Then there's nothing on the torso, but you do have forward and back on the leg. You got a rotation on the leg. You got a knee bend that also goes pretty far forward. I mean, that's a lot of articulation. You know, lots of these like uh, kids kaiju figures often have little to no articulation. They really do. So it's nice to see Playmates having some decent articulated toys for kids. And remember, this is for kids, so do not judge it by adult collectible standards. I think we can see how Kong has kind of changed over the years, you know. Uh, he's kind of bearded now. Bigger. Um, I don't know if he'll be a darker color like this in the movie or not, or if that's just for the toy. I feel like this scar isn't long enough. See how the top scar, like, is just little? I felt like it was longer in Skull Island, but I might be wrong. It's been a while since I watched Skull Island. I should rewatch Skull Island. I really enjoyed that movie. Um... Yeah, there's less paint on the back, but it's still detailed very well. You know, he's a good-looking figure. He's just a good-looking figure. Uh, I'd buy one of these if I had a kid. I'd buy one of these for my kid if I had one. Hopefully I'll never have one, but, you know. You know how it'd be. I just... I'm not a kid's person. I hope my brother has kids, though. I'd be close to my nieces and nephews. I just don't want to have one of my own. Um, but, yeah, let's actually do size comparisons with Kong now. How about one from each major kaiju franchise, huh? First up, the NECA 2001 Atomic Blast Godzilla. I actually think that looks pretty cool. Good job. Then, how about a movie monster series, Gamera 95? I can dig it, I can dig it. And then how about Mezco Kong? Yeah, Mezco Kong really... Looks like he could overpower him. Mesco Kong is a big boy. He's not six inch scale. He is big. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. You know, I really, uh, I dig this Kong. So what are my final thoughts on the Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong with Battle Axe figure from Playmates Toys? I dig it. I like the direction Playmates is taking with them, giving them enough articulation so that kids can really have fun with them. But uh, they're also fun for adult collectors as well. You know, I think these figures will, uh, you know, once the Godzilla vs. Kong thing is all done and over, I think they will be remembered as good figures. Or at least this one will be, because this is the only one I have, so I can't really say much. But he's very, very cool. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Be sure to hit that notification bell for more awesome kaiju and tokusatsu reviews. And if you want to see more kaiju and toku content, you can follow us on our second channel, B3 Productions. Link in the description below. So that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time.